In this tutorial, we will walk through the steps of finding pharmaceutical compounding information in scholarly databases. Pharmacy compounds can be found in various places, including textbooks such as Trissel's Stability of Compounded Formulations and Martindale's Complete Drug Reference. This tutorial will focus on finding information in the journal literature. In this tutorial, you will learn to create a keyword search to locate compounding information on specific topics of interest in a scholarly database like CINAHL or Embase, identify an article's publication information from a scholarly database like CINAHL or Embase, and locate a journal article within the International Journal of Pharmaceutical Compounding website. First, let's create a keyword search in CINAHL to locate compounding information. CINAHL is accessible through the Dalhousie Libraries homepage at libraries.dal.ca. You can select the Databases tab, type CINAHL into the search box, and click Search. You can then select CINAHL from the list of results. If you are off campus, you will be prompted to log in with your DAL NetID and password. To create a keyword search, you can pair the search term drug compounding with your topic of interest. If, for example, your topic of interest is how gummy bears can be used for drug compounding, you can use the search term gummy bears. The default screen in CINAHL features three search bars, but we do not need to use them all. Type drug compounding into one of the search bars, using quotations to search the term as a phrase. In another search bar, type gummy bears. Note that you don't necessarily need to search for your topic of interest as a phrase. You can therefore try typing your topic of interest search terms without quotations, as shown here with gummy bears. Select AND as your Boolean operator in the small drop-down menu to the left of the search bars and click Search. To view the abstracts of the articles in the search results, click Page Options and then Detailed. In this example, there is only one search result titled Basics of Compounding Tips and Hints Part 4. This article seems relevant to our topic of interest. Next, let's identify the article's publication information. In the CINAHL search results list, publication information is usually displayed below an article's title. This information includes the name of the journal that published the article, the journal's publication date, volume number, and issue number, and the page range of the article. Clicking on the article's title will take you to the detailed record, and all the same publication information can be found in the source field. For the article that we selected, we can identify the following information. The publication title is International Journal of Pharmaceutical Compounding. The publication date is July-August 2014. The volume number is 18, the issue number is 4, and the page range is 318 to 319. Next, let's locate the same article from the journal's website using the publication information that we found. Though some scholarly articles can be accessed directly from databases, Articles published in the International Journal of Pharmaceutical Compounding must be retrieved from the journal's website. To do this, select the Get It at DAL button, which should be to the left of the article's title. You will be redirected to the Get It at DAL screen with options for electronic full-text access. The publication information that we previously identified should also be listed again near the top of the page. In this example, there is one option for electronic full-text access, via miscellaneous e-journals. Select the Go button for this option. You should then be redirected to the International Journal of Pharmaceutical Compounding website. Next, let's locate the article from the journal's publication list. We are looking for the issue from July-August 2014, Volume 18, Number 4. When you find the appropriate issue, select the link. Depending on which internet browser you are using, the PDF file of the issue might open automatically or you may need to retrieve it from your Downloads folder. Within the PDF file, navigate to the appropriate page number, which in this case is 318. Embase can also be used to locate compounding information, but searches for compounding topics in this database may yield large numbers of results from a wide variety of publication types. CINAHL, on the other hand, is great for locating articles from specific pharmacy compounding journals. If you choose to search Embase, it can be accessed through the Dalhousie Library's homepage, just as we accessed CINAHL. However, please note that the process for creating keyword searches in Embase will differ from the process in CINAHL. For example, in Embase the search term drug formulation is used instead of drug compounding, so try pairing drug formulation, using quotations to search the term as a phrase, 
with your topic of interest. Keep in mind that Embase uses single quotation marks for phrase searching, whereas CINAHL uses double quotation marks. Identifying an article's publication information will be similar to the steps outlined in CINAHL, but the information may be presented slightly differently. Shown here is the Embase search results list, with the same article that we found in CINAHL, titled Basics of Compounding, Tips and Hints Part 4. Located below the article's title and author is the publication information. If you need more assistance with locating pharmaceutical compounding information or journals, you can contact the Kellogg Library by email at kellogg at dal.ca or by phone at 902-717-5244. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie Libraries, check out the links in the description below.